Hi friends, in this video we are going to talk about how to create a simple syslog server setup in Windows. So what is a syslog? Syslog is a standard protocol to send logs or event messages to a central log server. So as shown in this example, there are a lot of network devices which are sending syslogs to the central syslog server. So using syslog server, you can actually aggregate logs from all the network devices to a central location and you can do analysis on that in real time or in post facto. So basically syslog server listens for logs in syslog protocol from all the devices in the network. Unfortunately, there is no straightforward setup for syslog in Windows. So you need to download and install some third party syslog servers to enable syslog listening feature in Windows. In this video, we are going to talk about a simple syslog server setup and the syslog server is called syslog watcher. So let's go to its download site from here. So this is a syslog watcher which I am talking about. It's basically a free syslog server and it has its own limitations in the free version. But it's enough to test your syslog functionality or to listen to syslog listeners and display what are the syslogs coming to the syslog server. So let's try to install this syslog watcher software. So I'm going to download the MSI installer and then let's try to open that. Let's try to install it. And that's it. Now I've installed the syslog watcher. So basically I'm enabling syslog server in my windows machine. So let's try to open syslog watcher. So syslog watcher manager, let's try to open that. And you can see syslog watcher server 6.2.9 currently it's in stop mode. You can actually start the server and then it will listen for syslogs from various syslog sources in the network. Let's try to stop the server now. Before starting the server, you need to do some configuration. Let's try to open the configure button here and let's see interfaces. Currently I have one interface which is listening on UDP port 5 and 4. If you don't have this interface, for demonstration purposes I will delete this interface. If you install syslog watcher for the first time, you will not have any network interfaces. So you have to add an UDP interface and it will be by default localhost port UDP 514 and just apply that and then your syslog watcher will be listening on localhost port 514. You can even make your syslog watcher to listen on another interface also by adding a UDP interface. But in my case, I'm okay with this PC listening for UDP 514 for syslog messages. All right, now I can start my server and now my server is running and the network interface, there is one network interface which is UDP 514. And now this Windows machine is ready to listen for syslogs from its network sources. Let's try to test this syslog watcher by sending some logs to this syslog server. So I've actually created a Python code which can send logs to a syslog server. So since this syslog server is running in the same computer, I'm telling the syslog host is localhost or 127.0.0.1 and specifying the port is 514. And this is a simple Python code which I'll explain it later, but this can send syslogs and it is sending two logs which is hello world and this is an error message. So let's try to run this and the program is run and let's see whether I got any syslog messages. And now you can see it has received two messages and let's try to view that messages for that i'm going to go to the storage and here you can see today i got two messages let's try to open that and let's try to view that and i got two messages which is hello world and this is an error message so let's try to again run this and we are sending the message again let's try to see if i got some extra message let's try to reload it and i got four messages so our syslog server is working and it can receive messages from the network sources and after your work is done you can just stop the server so that's it guys this is how you can install a simple syslog server in windows using the syslog watcher software so if you want to see if you are getting syslogs from your different log sources or if you want to view the logs this is a very good solution and this is free actually with some limited features if you want extra features you have to pay for it but the free version is good for most of the cases if you want to install a syslog server in debian based systems like ubuntu then there is an awesome package called or syslog which we'll talk in some other video but in this video we are talking about installing a syslog server in windows using this syslog watcher software there are many other syslog watcher softwares like kiwi syslog watcher etc but those are trial versions only but this syslog watcher is not a trial version but it has some limited capabilities which are good for the most of the time you can see I've created a blog post on creating a simple syslog server in Windows and I've also given you the link to the syslog watcher download page. I've also given you the steps to configure the network interface in syslog watcher software. So be sure to check out the link of this blog post in the description of this video. We will also talk about installing our syslog 
in debian based systems like ubuntu in further videos please ask questions or leave your valuable feedback in the comment section hope you like this video guys thank you for watching peace